Investigator, we yes. have a word with you. Investigator Francis, there's been a string of robberies lately. You're the best investigator we have. Could you be on the case, please? There's a problem, major problem. I shall investigate, number one priority. Thank you, thank you, sir. Okay, Majesty. You know, an object in motion will remain in motion. I think I got this. Newton's laws of motion. Why, I think I'm done. My purse! My purse! Oh my gosh! My coins! My coins are all in there! I've been saving! I've been saving! stole my book. Someone stole my laws of motion. Did you know an object in motion stays in motion? Oh, sir, no. From where did you know that? I came up with it. That is very brilliant. Very brilliant. My I gosh. Think so too. I am so impressed and I've worked so hard for these coins. But do you want to help yourself to some of them? Why not? It would be my pleasure for someone like you. Okay. Stop! I wrote those laws and you know it, you crook. I'm so not. happy to have been here. Did not. I have known you. You did not. What is Trooper, my... you should know it. What is going on now? What I'm not you, just a no-brain. You, no -brain you have impressed me. Who is this? Mr. Fanton, I think I have a case for you. A man by the name of Jefferson Epson has been causing trouble. He stole the intellectual property of a man named Newton. And this could, case could make you a lot of money. Could it now? couldn't even say the laws right. He stole my laws of motion. Why won't anyone believe me? I wish someone could help. I think I can help you. How so? If he really did steal your laws, you can get your rightful ownership back in court. On top of all that, you can make some real money. I, I can? You, you'd help me with that? Yes, of course, for a 20% fee. Oh, I guess I don't have any other option. It's a deal. I stole Newton's laws, and we are gonna make a fortune off this. This is an incredible heist. We need to tell everyone about this, the key people. Magistrate, Magistrate, this case is deeper than we thought. What's going on, Investigator Francis? There is this man, Newt, and someone stole his intellectual property. Could be very serious. Just in case they catch me, I'm gonna hide this. So Isaac, I think this case will go very well. I'm very confident that you have a very strong evidence that these laws are your laws. Tell me a little bit more about them. Well, first of all, an object in motion stays in motion until acted upon by an immovable force. And an object at rest stays at rest until the same thing happens. The second law is that...
The force acting on an object is equal to its mass times acceleration. Sounds important to me. And then finally, very simply, for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Well, that makes quite a lot of sense. I think that you have a very strong case. We'll have to see how this goes through the courts. Do you think you could get it to the magistrate by tomorrow? I'm gonna do my darndest to get it to the magistrate, yes. Can't make complete promises, but I'm gonna try. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Did you know that? Well, I do know that an object in motion, it will stay in motion until it gets cremated. That's my understanding. Am I correct? I know you are superior to me. No, because that is not it. I am a, an evil woman at times, but I make my living this way. I have to survive. Did you know a force of an object is equal to the mass times its acceleration? No, sir, I did not. That's important also. You stop right there. You stole those laws, you crook. I What's did going not. On? What's going on here? We all know that the force on an object is equal to its mass times acceleration. Oh my goodness. Listen, no brain, Newton. I'm gonna go talk to my lawyer. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Order in the court. Order in the court. Court is now in session for the case of Newton versus Epson. Jefferson Epson has been accused of stealing the intellectual properties of Isaac Newton. How do you plea? Not guilty. Attorney David Fanton, please make your opening statement. My client is not guilty. Mr. Jefferson Epson stole the intellectual property of Isaac Newton and is trying to take that intellectual property and take ownership of it for his own self. Isaac Newton was the originator of that. I property. object. Well, I believe that this is all bunkus. Please sit down. Yes, magistrate. Please make your opening statement now. Well, I believe that this is incorrect. I am completely innocent of all charges. Mr. David Fanton, please call your first witness. Please state your name and occupation for the court. My name is Francis Jackson and I am a detective. Mr. Jackson, does Mr. Epson have a criminal history? Yes, he has been linked to a couple recent thefts. Objection, that has not been proven. As far as I'm concerned, Mr. Epson is morally ambiguous and untrustworthy. Thank you. This is completely unfair, unjust. I will not accept this. Objection. Objection to what? Objection to you. Because of all the bickering going on here, this trial is adjourned for today. We'll, we will resume tomorrow. You know, I do like birds, but only one bird at a time. That's enough for me. I don't like a crowded bunch of flying insects. <laughs> and that's when I told the guy it was physically impossible. Wow. That's quite a story there, Isaac. It's really great getting to know some of your history and you know how you came about putting these laws together. It's really, really quite an interesting adventure that you've been on. Yeah, uh, but no one really understands. Well, you know, I think the courts will understand once you know once we get it all through there, and I understand, and I think people will in time come to appreciate what you've what you've contributed here. I appreciate it. My God, I can't believe this. 
David Fantan. He was such a great lawyer on the Epson case. An object at rest will remain at rest. Boy, I have to remember this. And a object in motion will remain in motion unless it is acted upon and by an external force. Yeah, okay, let me do that again, okay. All right, all right, let's go to law two. The force acting on an object is equal to the mass of that object times its acceleration, F equals MA. Okay, I think I got that one. I think I can remember that one. All right, for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Oh, that one's simple. I think I just need to work on that first one. Hopefully I can remember this by the time of the trial. Oh, by the way, I forgot something. Let me get this and take it away. Oh. Oh. Here. Oh. All right. Since the untimely death of David Fantan, Mr. Newton will today be representing himself. Court is now in session. Mr. Epson, will you please call your first witness to the stand? I call Isaac Newton. Newton, I have some questions for you. Yes, Mr. Epson. Tell me about your, your theories. They're laws of motion. And there are very basic principles. And this is going to advance the path of humanity by generations, overnight, just with my work. Really? Tell me about them. Tell me about your laws. Well, my first law is that an object in motion stays in motion, and an object at rest stays at rest, until acted upon by an external force. An example of this would be if you were to roll an apple, it would stay in motion until either succumbing to friction or hitting a wall. Well, if you were to simply place an apple on the floor, it would remain at rest until moved. My second law is that the force of an object is equal to its mass times its acceleration. For example, if I were to throw an apple, the force it will exert on its target will be equal to the mass of the apple times its acceleration. My final law is that for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction for example, if you roll an apple against a wall, it will bounce back. Listen to me. I will not have this anymore. Order, order, order. Stop. You, Jefferson Epson, you are a crook. You've been since the day I met you. Order, order, order in the court. Stop this. Due to lack of evidence, this case shall be suspended until more evidence arises. Case. Case dismissed for today. Although David Fantan has been murdered, it's really not a major problem. You're incompetent. This whole situation is a bunch of incompetence. How dare you call me incompetent? Imagine an island that your greatest fantasies come true. That's what you get when you support me. Now take them away. What? No, stop. Get away from me, please. Victory. I can't believe it. He stole my laws and threw me in prison don't know what to do. My lawyer's dead. There's no way out of here. I just miss the days when I was happy. Before all this motion stuff. I should have never wrote, written those damn laws. Newton, may I have a word? Who are you? I'm Detective 
Francis Jackson, and I'm going to get you out of here. Really? But what do you mean? I know Epson's guilty, and we're going to prove it. Just follow me. Did you know for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction? Yes, I want you to know I'm your number one fan. Very nice. Thank you. And I think Thank so much of you that I'm going to throw a party for you. Okay, great. Is that okay? Yes, absolutely. And I'm going to get started now. Bye. Okay. Real nice lady. Come to my party. Come to my party. Everyone, come to my party. Do you know what the plan is? We crashed the party. You could say that. Thank you so much for helping with this. No one believed me. I knew he was bad news from the beginning. Let's get your laws back. I want to welcome everyone here to the big party for Jefferson Epson. <laughs> Woo! Oh, Jefferson, by the way, I'm just wondering, were you involved in the murder of the lawyer? It doesn't really matter because we all love you. This is a party for you. It doesn't matter to us. But I just thought maybe you could let us know. Yes, I was involved in the uh, killing of the attorney. And quite frankly, I don't feel bad about it. They deserved it. Great, because I'm Detective Francis Jackson and you're under arrest. I'm calling Newton now. This whole party has been a sting operation. I knew you stole my laws and I knew you killed my lawyer. No, you didn't. I knew there was more to this case. So we set up a sting and this is where we're at. We have you dead flats. Yeah. You're gonna have me for another crime. You stole my laws, and I know it. I did not. They're mine. Really? You're still saying that? I'll yes. give you one last chance. Be arrested, turn yourself in, and everything can be okay. No. Freeze! I need to knock him off balance, but that would require about 500 about units of force. 300 grams. That means that I have to throw this apple at 30. No pulse. I gotta go tell the investigator. Investigator! Yes, yes. Epson's dead. What? What happened? I hit him in the head with an apple and he died. That killed him? Yeah. And oh, the last day of the trial is tomorrow. This changes things around. But I think it's going to work out okay for you. May Detective Francis Jackson make a statement now. Yes, Your Honor. Hello, all. In light of recent events and the true character of Epson coming into full view, it's clear to see that Isaac Newton is truly a noble character. His laws were stolen, and I believe it's time that this court gives them back. This is all from me. And I hope you make the right choice. Thank you. It's clear to see who truly wrote those laws. This court finds Isaac Newton not guilty on all charges. This court also returns the right to the laws of motion to Isaac Newton, the rightful owner. Court dismissed. <laughs>